Until the temperature heats back up above freezing, you likely will have been relying on a wintertime staple to keep your walkways clear. Uh, that made us wonder, how does salt melt ice and what else can do the trick? Good question. Jeff Wagner learned how this winter necessity does the job. Did you guys get extra busy in this section over the weekend? We are very busy in this section, yes. From your standard salt to pet friendly mixes, and advanced blends. So with our complete lineup, we have a product for everybody. Melting ice has really become a science. I don't even know what's in there. I just know it worked last year. Well, at least it has for scientists. Basically, water normally freezes at 32 degrees, but when you add salt, it then stays liquid down to like 15 degrees Fahrenheit. Dr. Andy Erickson is a research manager at the University of Minnesota. So what is occurring that's bringing that freezing point down? Yeah, the salt uh, dissolves into sodium and chloride, and those are ions that are in the water. That dissolved salt prevents water molecules from turning into ice and further melts the ice that's already formed around it, so long as it's not below 15 degrees. Below that temperature, it just can't overcome that process of solidification of the liquid water. How long will that salt do the trick? Salt will work uh, within the temperature range indefinitely. The problem is as more ice melts, there's more liquid to dilute the salt, making it less effective. What if it's cold for three straight days? How do we ensure that it stays melted? Yep, then you're gonna wanna use probably the calcium chloride or the magnesium chloride, the upper end stuff. Magnesium chloride is effective up to 10 degrees below zero. Calcium chloride goes further, working at 20 below. Drawback being you're spending a little more money. That is correct. Why do you think people incorporate sand or kitty litter? Um, for some traction. Not just around your house, but on the roads. Some cities and counties use sand mixed with a salt brine. And what that does is it prevents the sand from freezing in the truck and also gives it kind of a sticky feel on the outside to stick to the roadway and provide grip for road for traffic. In New Brighton, Jeff Wagner. Just don't clump it. WCCO 4 News. Oh, you heard him mention clumps. If you spread salt out evenly rather than a clump or a pile, it'll be more effective at melting the ice. And it also prevents possible damage to concrete. If you have a good question for Jeff, email him by visiting wccocom links.